now that I'm shifting focus uh, from uh, analysis to algebra, I'm also going to be doing a little bit of data science, not too much, mostly linear algebra. Uh, but I wanted to show this great book that I've come across that I've started to read. I'm not going to take notes and I don't believe I'm going to make any videos about this book that I have thought of yet. Maybe I will. I'm not sure. But either way, Joshua Bengio is one of the big uh, dudes in deep learning. And so this crew wrote this great book. And uh, there are many data science books. A lot of them are really uh, geared towards very practical applications. They'll be like Python. They'll be programming books. Uh, but this one in particular is very, very good because it's got a real good summary of everything in the field. Um, and it's done by some of the major participants. So, and it's got a lot of math. So the book has a, uh, a first chapter, uh, I'm sorry, a first section with math for, for machine learning. So it's got linear algebra. And I've already read a little bit and learned some things about linear algebra that I didn't know uh, that are used in deep learning. Because of course, deep learning uses a lot of linear algebra. Although now that I'm getting further into it, it also does a lot of tensor algebra. It's really uh, the underlying theme. And I'll be maybe, maybe making videos about that. I'm not really sure. Then probability and information theorem, numerical computation, the basis of machine learning. So this is where the statistics and the math come together. Uh, well, statistics is math, I shouldn't say it that way. But the math that is not statistics and the math from statistics come together. I think that's the best way of doing it. Overfitting, all that good stuff. Then the uh, neural network part. Regularization. Uh, deep forward, uh, feed forward networks. Uh, then optimization, training models, convolutional networks, nets, how to work with the model, some applications, then the, the, the deep learning research, which is really some things that I think have not, some of them I don't think have panned out completely yet from what I'm reading in the book, but again, I have to read more. Just a lot of really good stuff for deep learning. So just wanted to show the table of contents that was it it's got a website the, yeah if you look it up so actually you can get this book in PDF from that website but I always like to have the hard copy to read as a regular book I'll just show a few parts from the book without having to page through the whole thing um, it is full of really informative stuff about deep learning and uh, I don't really want to read 20 deep learning books. I just want to read one really good one. So I think this is the one that I'm going to read. Uh, and then I'll do some programming as well. Not sure how or when I'm going to show it in this, uh, in this channel because I want to stick to the math. There will be definitely linear algebra videos. And, uh, but I'm not sure what type of data science videos I will make, if any. Uh, because again, the theme of my channel is mathematics. So there you have it. <clears throat> that is, this is a great book on deep learning that I'll be reading this summer, the summer of linear algebra and deep and uh, data science.